Good morning, everyone. It's Barry Fair on Tuesday, the 29th of January, and welcome along to Santa Ives Community Access Service. Thank you for joining me here today on this 30 degree day, and the schools and back this week, and we'll be talking about school zones and lunches again in today in today's show and also keeping hydrated and coming up now on today's show we're going to be talking about four-wheel drives and what you need to do in case you take your four-wheel drive into the bush and i've got my offside here good morning good morning and the first tip you need to do is make sure you check the depth of the water and how slippery the roads are before you drive into the areas such as Barrington Tops. Now, never assume that you can get across a river by yourself because you need to have a two-way radio so that if you are traveling with someone you need to have a radio and tools to get yourself out yeah. and also make sure that you do not try to do this yourself Otherwise, you could roll the vehicle and there'll be a fine to do so. Before you drive anywhere into uneven areas such as the Barrington Tops or a muddy track, ring the National Park and ask whether it is safe and check the weather conditions as well. And I'm sure my offside would like to say something about this now. Yeah, well, um, there's, especially if you're traveling by yourself, if you have friends in other vehicles, then there's certain perks to that. Like if you do get bogged, then someone can tow you out. But of course, that would mean that a tow would need to be packed as well. So the most important thing, I think first things first, is packing your car up to have to cater for all sorts of emergency situations because you and, never know what you're going to encounter. And if you break down, you will need to have a jump lead. Yeah. I said this in one of my recent videos yeah. on the 20th of January, which was on Sunday week, not the Sunday gone, but the Sunday before. So. When you are going four-wheel driving in the Barrington Tops and in the wilderness, always have the essentials like uh, you, you winch so that if you get bogged, you or your mates can help each other out. And always have a jumper lead in case your battery is flat and you have to stay in the same spot overnight until you can get out. Yeah. So always make sure you have everything packed for a four-wheel drive camping trip because it's no good planning a four-wheel drive trip if you are not set. Packed yeah. because you need to have a jack to change the tires if the, uh, you have a flat tire and you need to make sure that if you are driving on muddy ground that you have traction on the wheels because yeah. you need to have good tread on the tires. We, we 
really the main because if you are by yourself and you've got no help, then it's no good continuing. You, you need to be absolutely prepared for the camping trip and especially if you are taking your four-wheel drive out into the wilderness or off a normal road. So if you are driving off-road, please, viewers, be prepared for the worst. Mm -hmm. And especially if you are camping somewhere overnight, so, so I suggest you watch a, this video called Insane Muddy Tracks, a night drive and wicked camping, and this is Barrington Tops to the beach. And also write down a few points on, on where you are going to camp for the night. Yeah. And also, if you are driving on the beach, let a few, a few pounds of air out of the tires so you can drive on the sand. So what does that do to the tires? It increases the, the space of the tires and the air is decreased. Yes. Yeah. So that was a good tip. I had never heard that before. So... If you are planning a trip away, please be prepared. And if it has been raining for a certain amount of days you need, be aware that the tracks where you drive, where you go with your four-wheel drive, they may be slippery and you might be sliding all over the place. So please be cautious of those conditions if it has been raining. And if you see, see a tree in the middle of the road, stop and get out and try to move it. And also pack a, a chainsaw so that you can move the tree and you can continue. Yeah. And always make sure that you find a suitable place to camp for the night and always make sure that you have plenty of food with you. And if you are carrying perishable foods like milk, but try and keep them cold mm. by putting a wet tea towel over them or just some, um, I don't know what to do about milk. And maybe it's important to, because you never know and you have to be prepared for worst case scenarios, maybe it's good to have some canned food. And um, have some canned food. And enough water and enough water until you get to your next destination. And always make sure that you've got enough fuel in the, the vehicles so that you don't run out and carry some fuel in a jerry can, not an old ice cream container because Fuel is flammable. Please be careful. Yeah, store it safely. And store it safely. Also, a first aid kit. That's pretty important. And well. also a first aid kit in case somebody gets hurt. We were also talking before about um, a phone. Did you say a satchel phone? Like a radio in the car. Like a two-way radio in the four-wheel drive so you can contact each other for help. But what about if you're travelling by yourself? Uh, a phone, but make sure you don't drive anywhere where you can't get coverage. Yeah, and if you're going to be going out of coverage, then you need a satchel phone. 
a sat phone. Yeah. Because a camping four-wheel drive trip can be fun, but it can also mean danger. Yeah, I mean, our Australian bush can be unpredictable and, and difficult to navigate through. And also, if you are planning to go for a four-wheel drive trip, it's always good to have a map of where you are going to go and which is the best route. Because not having a map won't help you or your mates decide on which route you are going to go. So it is also very important to have a map and also consider how much time you are going to spend away and how much time you will need to complete the trip because if it's a weekend trip, okay, you need to start early on Friday morning to beat the traffic and also pack your car up on Thursday night and pack the essentials like I mentioned, such as your torch, first aid kit, your winch, your tools, so your that jack. your what? Your jack. Your jack and your jump points for your battery and your tool kit like your spark plugs and everything else like that. So, it's always very important to have enough gear for a four-wheel drive trip, and especially if you are going out into the bush. And also make sure that you've got enough oil and water. That's the most important thing, because you don't want to break down and then suddenly realize, oh no, I forgot to um, check the oil and water. And what about the tire pressure? You need to check that as well. And don't go into places where you are likely to run over something and then get a, a flat tire because that is the last thing you would want to have happen here. And I hope this video will help you and your mates plan a road trip. And before I sign off from this video, make sure that you are well enough before you go away because if you were sick, it's no good. So look, consider your, your health and the other person's health as well before you go away. Yeah. And make sure that you are completely hydrated when you are out in the bush because the weather can be quite unpredictable and also have some wet weather gear in case you go bushwalking. So have good sturdy walking shoes for a, a bushwalk, a compass, and also a map, and a good sturdy backpack to store everything in. So I hope that you enjoy this video. In the next video I'm going to be talking about is how to get your child to and from school safely. So I will be back in a minute to bring you the school video. So don't you go away and have a great trip.